Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 596 of Fallout 4. Last episode, we were all the way over at the Fort Hagen Satellite Array. We cleared the majority of it out. We found... Oh, Ada, don't hurt yourself, you're a robot. We, we, we found some weird robo-brain thing on a computer called Jezebel, which was, which was pretty, pretty strange. And it wants to strike a bargain, basically. So, I loaded right before I talked to it. And I went back and I got Ada. We had our, our, our synth companion, uh, X688, because we're, of course, trying to get his affinity up. But I figured it'd be a good idea to go get Ada. Probably more dialogue options, or at least maybe she'd offer some input on the whole situation. She'd be like, don't trust it. It's, it's, it's a monster. Don't trust it. Don't believe anything it says. So that's why, that's why I picked her up. So that's, that's where we are. I'm just heading back to the... Uh, stick. I'm just heading back to the satellite array real fast. It's not difficult to get there, and it ain't difficult to get back, and it's not difficult to go through the dungeon, because it's, it's pretty small. Ooh, ooh, combat, to get, combat again. Brotherhood fighting super mutants? This happened last time I was here. Another victory for the brother. Sounds like it. That's just like an ash pile. What'd you kill? A synth this ooh. area is under our protection. Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. I'm a paladin, okay, buddy? <coughs> paladin? Yeah, you're damn right. You will respect my authority. Interesting. Last time I was here, this loot wasn't. This stuff may have respawned completely. And by that, I'm curious to check these little foot lockers. Did this stuff spawn in again? No, maybe it's just the items out in the world that spawned in. Yeah, eh, whatever. I'm not, I'm not here to, you know, loot all this stuff, but... I just passed through it last time. Okay, well, that's where we are. They're, they were killing super mutants earlier, now they're killing synth peoples. <laughs> Seems to be a hot spot for combat. That's good to know, I suppose, huh? Yeah, right, okay. Hot flowers! Hot flowers! I, I, I barely use them, but I always freak out when I can find them, because <laughs> I don't find them all that often. So let's just go right straight back in here. And Ada, please tell me you have some unique dialogue. Like, I'll give you a second to catch up. Okay, you see, you see that? Is he here running super fast? She does that, I think, either more often than other companions, or it's more noticeable. Look at her. When she's full on sprints. Like that. Look how derpy she looks. <laughs> so, that's normal walk speed right there. Like, that's, that's, that, that, that looks normal. Look how I just want to get away from her. <laughs> she looks so dumb. Stupid. Yeah, are you gonna? Are you have anything to say about this place? Come on. Come on. Keep up. She's so janky. Eh, whatever. We're, we're, we're going down here. <laughs> I'm sure she'll have something to say during the dialogue. <laughs> so strange to me when she runs. It just does not look right. That that's, that's hilarious. This also gives me the opportunity, since I'm I'm backtracking, I'm coming back into the dungeon. The that so there's like a frag trap, and I never really saw where it, the bottom of it was, like where the grenades landed. And I can't go that way. And yeah, there is there's even a uh, steamer trunk there, so I know that's the way back. But oh, it was up here. Yeah, what was this thing? Where does this connect? Like you see you see frag grenades hanging from the ceiling here. It's right there. One, two, three. I don't even know where that connects. Huh. Oh well. I'm uh, sure we'll get to it when we get to it, huh? But this way is where we were earlier, and down here is this robot person. So, like, I kind of thought it'd be in this room, but no, it's in some other room. Some other room between this wall and the other one. So let's save now that we're here, and go talk to Jezebel or whatever, whatever its name is. I think it's its name, right? The robot thing? Jezebel, yes. So let's give Ada a sec to catch up. Oh, hello. Oh, hold on. All right, brain box. Ivy wants me to find out what makes you tick. So let's get started. There's no need for that. I certainly can discuss this rather unfortunate situation before it gets completely out of hand. Now, what exactly did this Ivy tell you to do? Simple. She wants me to crack open that dome you have for a head and find out how your brain is connected to your circuits. Perhaps I can be of assistance in that regard. After all, there isn't much else I can do now that you remove my head from its 
chassis. How about we forge some sort of an accord? Just between the two of us. What the hell is an accord? <laughs> you talking about wires or something? Right. I need to phrase this so even a dullard like you would understand. Let me put it this way. You need information that's going to make your boss happy. I want to keep my brain in one piece. If you can cut it in hearts, you be sure Bye. to let me know. I'm listening. I'll tell you everything I know about my own construction. All the bits that Ivy wants to hear. And I promise you, she won't be disappointed. In return, you keep those tools away from me and put me back onto my body. You get what you want, and I don't get dissected like some kind of a laboratory experiment. Do we have a deal? Well, that would save me a lot of time. And Ivy doesn't like waiting. Tell you what, you start talking, and I'll stop drilling. After I tell Ivy everything, we'll see how happy she really gets. But I think I'm gonna leave your head in that machine for now. Just in case you decide to get any smart ideas. How's that for a deal? <sighs> I suppose it will have to suffice. I mean, yeah, it's a deal. Hmm. Interesting. Well, there's this terminal here. I guess I might as well check it. That's, uh... <laughs> I haven't seen the, the Jagger guy, the Jagger, Jagger, however you want to pronounce his name. And I definitely haven't seen the Ivy person. Rust of a workshop machine. Choose an entry. Brain. The brain won't talk and make it. Smash the glass and stick your hand in it if you have to. Yeah, that sounds productive. The brains are obviously the ones calling the shots. There has to be some signal hidden inside that slimy ball of snot that we can use to lead us to the mechanist. You have to wait until tomorrow. That's when I get someone else to do it. Uh, you won't be happy if I get someone else. Just do it, Ivy. Ibot. We have the brain now. Just destroy the iBot. I'm sick of hearing those incessant messages about the mechanist. Bring peace back to the Commonwealth? What a load of crap. Anyway, I have some ideas on how we can make uh, some make some sick mods for the thing. I want it disassembled by tomorrow. Schematics. RKW. No, I'm not going to try to read that. Apparently those schematics are corrupted. <laughs> I'm going to try and read that shit. <laughs> right. I can't talk to the iBot. Ooh, I can apparently liberate the iBot though. Let's pop another save here. Dear iBot, out of curiosity, what happens if I open this? Oh, well, like, that, that's clearly not how you open this thing. Got him. Nice. I can't interact with you. So I open this for seemingly no reason, and he's not leaving. I could kill it, but it's not gonna get me anywhere. See, so you, you know what? You stay in there for now, Mr. Ibot. Let's go talk to to Jezebel over here. Ada. Hey. Get your fat over robot here. butt over here. Come on. You better have something productive to say about this whole situation, or I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be angry with you, robot lady. You don't look like one of the Rust Devils. What are you doing here? What did the Rust Devils do to you? They felt that by keeping my head online would prove useful to them. Fortunately for me, they're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith, as I describe our potential bargain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible, so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, 
but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do what? we have a deal? Why do I have a feeling the body's the thing behind her? The Ahab or whatever? Now, what's her face didn't say anything? Ada. Let's attempt the speech check, but before we do the actual, just the speech check itself. Come on. Come on. This will save some time. I know I quick saved earlier, but this will save some time. Ugh. All right, now let's try. How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? You don't. Mother trucker, I do know, because I have the power of an autosave. You stupid robot brain. Don't you sass me. I'll blow a damn hole in your head. I should just shoot the thing, see what happens. <laughs> How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? I'm still not convinced. I still think it's a bad idea. I'm not sure. Well then, it appears you have some thinking to do. When you make your decision, I'll be waiting. I'm certainly not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm, I admit I'm a bit disappointed that you're not saying anything. Hey. What can I do for you? Here you are, sir. Microscope and a camera hey. added. I'd be happy to help if I can. And a battery. Thanks for the random loot. Hey, Ada. Is there something I can help you with? You don't have anything. Are you able to self-destruct? Why is that one of my options? <laughs> I think it's time to disable your personality support team. <laughs> that was an option. Well, you know what? Let's, let's experience both options. If, if one goes south, let me, let me try the other. But first of all... <laughs> damn. I, wanted, I was curious if I could kill the damn thing. The offer still stands if you're interested. Get me out of this place. Find me a new body, and I'll give you access to the Mechanist's facility. I, I don't like you first. I'm not sure. Well, no, I pressed three! I pressed uh, three! I don't like you. I'm gonna kill you first. The offer still stands Shut up. Interested. No. Get me out no deal. Place. Well then, it appears we've I'm reached a bit of an impasse. She's gonna send Avehab after when me. You make your decision, I'll be waiting. Uh-huh. I mean, I said no deal. I want to kill the you. Offer still stands if you're interested. No. Do I have place. to? Find me How do I know? Even though there's, there's a human brain. What the hell? I said no, no deal. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? The last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we made. There are multiple conversations going on with her at once. Do we have a deal? No. No deal. Well then. That's weird. All right, we're gonna kill Ahab. Not much of a threat after all. Now what happens? The offer still stands if you're interested. This is weird. Get me out of this place. It gives me an option, but I can't have an option. And I'll give you oh, access to the mechanism. Here's the protectron. That's strange. Why would they give me the option, but there's no option? Well, I guess I have to take that choice. That's stupid. There's like no deal. Why can't I just smash it open and I'm 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 I just I'm at a I'm at an impasse. Like no, no deal. Well then, it appears we've reached a bit of an impasse. When you make your decision, I'll be. I waiting. made my decision. I'm certainly not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay. Can I like turn this thing off and kill it? Uh, what the hell? <laughs> There's like no decision that can be made. Let's look at the quest thingy. Uh, that would be head hunting. Speak to Jezebel. What the fuck? That's so stupid. Really? Like, as here's your decision. You can't reach your decision. That's dumb. The offer still. All right. Well, we'll take the speech check for the XP, but that's that's a little ridiculous. Like. Misleading at the very least. Um, unless I'm missing like a, a shut off button, but none of these just shut her damn brain off. How do I know you'll keep up your end of the Even though there's a human brain, Yeah, yeah, I know how you. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. 
Whatever. Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Take Jezebel. Get him, sir. Oh, is this instantly become possible? <laughs> oh, I want to read the thingy over here. I will shoot him in the head. There's, a, there's a, like a quest thingy that popped up. Well, come on. Let's not wait around for more horrifying monstrosities. Of course, I destroyed Ahab. He attacked me. I think it's different. We don't this time. You know what the quest thingy say? Look, like, I have to take it, is basically what this is. Just exit. Alright. It's, it's, it's like forcing that option on me. That seems strange. That seems really strange that like, it, it gave me the... the... the illusion of a choice, I guess would be the best way to put it, but there was no real choice. I just had to take it. That's kind of stupid. Well then, where else can we go here for fat loot? So I already I'm looted. trying to get us killed. You're really loud. Can you stop talking, lady? Uh, I already went up here. I already looted all that stuff. No I do hear the raiders. Or the My databanks are continuing to accumulate well. vast amounts of data regarding the Commonwealth. It's really... It's kind of a, a disappointment, though, that Ada had nothing to say about the entire conversation. Ah, this is the room with the frag Watch traps. Watch the trip wires. Yep. I'd rather keep myself intact today, thank you. But it's, it's, it's really disappointing that she had nothing to say, no input. I hear a fusion generator. I'm almost tempted to go get the frag things themselves, but we'll attempt to disarm the tarps, because I want the grenades. So is this one closer? This one is closer. Okay, so that's a disable. Let's go, this. Let's go disable this one. You look that way, mister. Ada, please, you're gonna, you're gonna trigger the tarps. Ada, you dummy. Uh, the best way to get you. I'm pressing E, Gabe. Gabe, I'm pressing E. <laughs> I don't want it to rain grenades. So that's where we were looking through earlier. So I want... Oh, I want the grenades. Let me have my grenades, please. Yes. Ooh. Got you. Got you. I pressed E. I pressed E! I pressed E! It appears like if I'm falling too fast and I press E, it happens. Which I guess makes sense. Okie okay, dokes, there's one grenade left. All that for a little bit of extra XP and of course some grenades. And I could jump up to that catwalk and I think I was on that one earlier, but again, I'm assuming this all loops around. Now let's resume looting with an empty inventory, which is amazing. And her inventory is empty too, so no complaints here. Makes finishing this dungeon a bit easier than if we were to still have our robot companion because we'd keep stopping and having him loot. I'm still really just confused with the way that that, that panned out. Yeah. Like, Psst. I'd be happy to help if I can. Grab that. No uh, it basically just forces me to make this choice. Uh, it's kind of stupid that they did what they did. And then I'm also a little bit weirded out that Ada had no dialogue options hey, on the whole thing. What can, I do for you? can you get that fertilizer bag? Thank you. Just, just really weird. Really weird. But well, that's where we are. That's where we are, attempting to get all of the things and look out for tarps, because it just appears to be the nature of this dungeon is tarps. Tarps, 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 tarps. Ooh, Nuka Cola Quantum. I like Nuka Cola Quantum. Rust Devil Gaming Terminal. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm sure that goes really well. Please tell me they have uh, that Red Menace game or whatever on there. I still have it in my. Uh, I can still play it. You know, it's funny. I got that in like the first or second episode and I still haven't beaten it, completed it. I think it's an achievement to complete it. I think I just picked up a crappy burnt book. But you play the Red Menace game. Oh, there it is. Eject Holotape Automatron. Gaming terminal, terminal off limits. Ivy's orders from Ivy. Read th this. Nice punctuation. Whoever reset the scores, I will find you and I will have your head until one of you owns up to it. This terminal is off limits. Scores. Okay. Alright, so it's completely reset, you can tell by that, and then you can play the tape. So what happens? What is this? Automatron, 2072, Plan Division Programming. 
Ironbot is a thousand, Hansi's two hundred, Robo Brain five hundred, mine assault run sentry. Save blah blah blah, like weird running person for bonus points. One life every two th or twenty five thousand points. What is it? What is it? Oh okay. Oh okay. And I also have to not kill him. Oh, that's kinda cool. It feels like I'm playing asteroid. I can just hold sweet. <laughs> this is an interesting distraction. <laughs> That's an interesting distraction. <laughs> Oop, I don't want to shoot those dudes. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. It's really what it feels like. Wave four. It just resets every time. It doesn't let me clear out the the thing. Well, they sh they shoot at me now. They angry. This Robo brain thing does not die. Can I not kill that? I have to kill with mines. <laughs> he got ran over. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a this is a, a, a fun little little game here. I actually like this more than the Red Menace one. Right, oh boy, bullet hell shooters! It's been a while since I played any of those. I don't know if I can shoot those little guys, like the people you're supposed to save. I need to test it. I haven't been paying enough attention. Yeah, I think I can't hurt them, which is good. Cool, I can't hurt them, so I don't have to worry about. I've been worrying about friendly fire this whole time. I just need a pew pew. Get the mine. Does, does getting the mines end the wave? Is that what this is? Getting the mines helps me because it kills shit quicker for me. Look at that. It gets rid of the robo brains. Huh. <laughs> Look how there's saltrons and robo brains. <laughs> this is funny. Get, 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 get. I wanted to get the mine. Can't get the mine. There you go. Get that mine, get that mine, get that Yeah! <laughs> get that mine too. Oh no, I finally died! First death! Now, do I get like a, uh. Anything like an achievement, or is there any point in this? Or am I just having fun? I think I'm just having fun at this point. So I'm kinda, kinda tempted just to end it. Let, 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 let's just, let's go Sudoku ourselves. Oh, you run into him to get health! I thought you just rescued him! Okay. Well, now I'm learning. Oh, now put me on the high scores, please. Here. Die. New high score. Play again? Nah. Quit game? Yes. Well, that was interesting. That was a fun little distraction. I'm going to take that with me, because I can play that at any any time. Same thing with the Red Menace. Nice. <laughs> I like that. That was, that was, that was clever. Okie doke. Oh, I know. Okie doke. I missed you. Uh, let's get that gun back out. And still keep our eyes peeled here for tarps. It's tarps, 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 tarps. Tarps is the name of the game. In this dungeon, anyway. What you got? Cigar box? Gross. Cigars stink. Cigars are stanky. I really hope that... What? Oh, God. If I were to take this Jezebel or whatever with me and go just do other random quests and loot things, I would really hope she wouldn't talk because her voice is, one, super loud and two, super annoying. It's it's almost like reason enough just to go complete the quest and have to deal with her. <laughs> You really are taking the path of most resistance here, aren't you? I generally do that. That's, that's how you get the most loot. Oh, I see somebody over there. What's, what's that? That's a rust devil. Oh, freaking invisible hitbox. I can see the little pole there, but I shot to the side of it. Damn it, game. Pew! Enjoy grenade! Oh, right there. Yeah! <laughs> Get him, Ada. Legendary Mr. Handy Annihilator. What level is he? No, not the grenade. Shoot shoot him. Shoot him. He's only level 115. He dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Handy. Oh, and there is a turret up here. Hello. Interesting spot for a turret. This was a good little vantage point that I picked. I should have just ran, huh? Hold on. Let's drill your face. Got it on the first shot. There's another turret right here. Look at all this stuff to kill. Glorious. Let's turn the light back on. Boy, howdy, does it ever get brighter when you put this light on? <laughs> it is dark in this room. So I can't reload you. Oh, I can. Never mind. I did get some ammo for this. Alright, so now I got a full mag on this thing. I'm actually kind of hoping. 
please don't have power armor in here. Please don't have power armor in here. Because I brought Ada this time. Expecting, you know, maybe she'd have some dialogue in her own little quest line. She doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't. So I, she, she couldn't bring a power armor suit back home. It'd be funny. But I don't think she can. <laughs> She's not human. Only the humans ones can do that. So what have we in this room? Nothing in those stations ever. And she should also have increased carry capacity. I remember I upgraded her a bit in the past. Nothing in this. That's convenient for me. Ooh, caps. I didn't even see those. Uh, there's really just not much in here, but then again, the door wasn't exactly locked. I just had to use the terminal. Alright. I guess that's all she wrote. I guess that is. So let's go with that legendary Mr. Handy before I forget. See, do you have anything good on you? Aww. Aww. <laughs> Deathclaw Gauntlet. I don't melee, so. I mean, that'd probably be kind of decent for melee characters. It's extra bleed, but. Find anything useful? Damn. damn, 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 damn. Nothing overly amazing now. I really can't go back in there. It doesn't let me. So let's see about looting all the things here. Dude, she's so noisy when she walks too. <laughs> it does not make me miss having her as a companion. Oh my god, I actually want my little robot dude back, the uh, X688 robot companion. He's, he's at least quiet. I should be overweight here sooner or later. I'll have to have her loot it. Hot plate. Okay, just some ammunition. I like how she's complaining about the path of most resistance, but <laughs> I walked in here and everybody just kind of exploded. Just killed them all really easily. It's like it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, was it? It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Ammo? Ammo! I always like ammo. Alright. However, guys, it does look like it is time to wrap the episode up here. I thought I'd complete this quest a little earlier than I thought, but nope. Nope. Quest is a little longer. The Sultron legs. Don't mind if I do. I'm just going to borrow your legs. You don't need those legs, do you? But I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Episode 596. Uh, I'm assuming we'll be out of this place next time. I have no idea what kind of a just insane quest I'm about to be embarking on with, with Jezebel. She's going to take me halfway across the Commonwealth to find her body, and then she'll betray me. We all know it's going to happen, but we'll see. We'll see. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.